Oh, hello, friends. Didn't see you guys sneak in there. We're just doing our weekly monthly water changes. I got my trusty water change and bucket hat on and the tightest pants I can find. Welcome to a Clarion Police. What's up guys, it's Monday. Nobody wants to work today, so we're gonna make a YouTube fish video because that's what Mondays are for. March out, it's freezing. Last couple of weeks were pretty warm and then I don't know what happened, but we got another huge snowstorm up here in central Canada. So please just give us summer, we're ready for it. I wanna get my outdoor patio going. I'm gonna do a little you know, fish outdoor pond video. Freezing weather, it's gotta go because I already packed away my snowblower and I am not shoveling anymore because this is just ridiculous. If you live down south, I mean, I'm jealous, I envy you because I'm tired of this cold weather. It's been a crappy, crappy winter. So as aquarium keepers, we all like to boast about our tanks and we all think we're pro aquas keepers. I mean, I am for sure. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> Sometimes you just know that you hit a home run with your fish tank. This is why parents shouldn't use VR. So this guy here, he definitely was going to be entering into an aquascape contest and his wife didn't agree with him. <laughs> that is brutal. Now, there's no way that this lady agreed to having a fish tank in the, in the living room because she hammered that thing over the green monster. It's gone. See you later next year. Not today. <laughs> Definitely was the inner blue substrate. She did not like it. She didn't want a fish tank. She wanted the rimless. So she's like, let's upgrade this thing. Boom. They're getting ready for co-ed softball. It's happening a few weeks away. Get your jerseys on. VR in the house. I mean, I don't know. That's a risky one, especially with a fish tank. I'm not sure why she's using an actual baseball bat with a VR headset. I've never worn one. I've always wanted to but I'm scared I do something completely ridiculous like that or run into a wall, rip that fish tank. Uh, definitely time for an upgrade. You cannot fix that leak. That leak is toast. So, so what are we doing with this person? Are we laying the charges for assault with a weapon or what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's any fish in there. Didn't see anyone flop around, but he might be splattered on the wall, the backside of the tank. So who knows, but hopefully there's no fish in there. If there was rest in peace, because that is brutal. Now this next poor person, you know, suffers the fate of everyone on the internet posting their tanks. And I don't even know what to say because I'm kind of conflicted, but I'll let you guys check this person out. Fishbowl that pissed off thousands and thousands of people. Let's do an update while I clean who got to his bowl, you guys. It's been a few. So now this person posted a, a video a few weeks ago setting up a, a crystal bowl for their kitchen. Poor person was just getting roasted online. Again, I'm not a fan of the inert substrate. This person chose to use crystal like little crystals and uh you know it was way too bougie for me had a uh you know a piece of driftwood like a little stick a little olive branch or something tied a chandelier crystal to it this thing was like just you know ice on ice on ice it was unreal uh fishbowl probably cost more than my truck but who knows so again mugatu probably one of the best fish names i've heard um uh, definitely give him plus 10 for that that fish is just fire uh if you don't know who mugatu is i mean you're missing out in life uh, I God! Are you not aware that I get farty and bloated with a foamy latte? And I don't think that uh, we can continue to be this relationship anymore. Okay, so the inert substrate uh, doesn't hold as much beneficial bacteria. I mean, it will, it will rest on the on the rocks and stuff like that. Now these moss balls, I've actually never used a moss ball, um, so I don't even know what they're like. Do you, can you squeeze them fully? Is there like a core in the middle? I have no idea. But um, this person is obviously trying to use the moss balls as its filtration system, holding beneficial bacteria. But uh, then proceeds to go ahead and clean these moss balls with tap water. It's draining. I'm rinsing off the moss balls. Now, these moss balls, you guys, play a huge role in why I don't need a filter. So now we all know that when you clean anything with the fish filter or anything like that with tap water, like where I live, it's chlorinated to heck. It's basically, it smells like a swimming pool. So I got to douse it like triple time with the, uh, you know, with the prime or with the Seachem uh, prime. So now we know that when we're rinsing our filter media or whatever we're using for our filtration system, we want to rinse that stuff with fish water so we don't lose that beneficial bacteria. And you can squeeze it out. Now, again, these moss balls, I've never used them. I've seen them, but if you can squeeze them, I have no idea if there's a core, but squeeze them in the, in the old dirty uh, fish water and then you're good to go. Just squeeze it out like a sponge. Don't let it suck in. And then you can throw it back in. 
dry it off or whatever you got to do. I have no idea. But anyways, this person's using tap water. So whatever. I'm not going to judge you, but the internet will and is. Now, this is the issue with the internet. Is like you get to find divide down the middle is where you have your fish keepers who brag about their stuff on the internet. And then you have the internet who knows everything about stuff on the internet, uh, about fishes. And, you know, <laughs> people are like, ah, oh, that poor beta fish is going to hurt himself on the little branch. It's like, man, like these things literally come from ponds and swamps in like Thailand. Like I'm sure a little branch is going to be fine. But I mean, it is again, fishes, you know, survival to finish, natural selection. If it ain't surviving, then I mean, too bad. So Mugatu's got those beautiful undamaged fins. So we all know that that is a face false claim about the stick hurting the fish. So, so unfortunately, this person was getting complete roast online. And uh, the reason why I posted this video is because of um, the comments and how he, his reaction video. Now he's saying it's a nine gallon tank. Uh, who knows? I mean, I'm not a scientist, but it looks pretty small. It could be nine gallon. You know, we try and get the betas in that minimum five gallon or greater. But uh, we obviously want to provide always the best possible environment for our babies that we keep in the house. But the reaction video is just hilarious. This guy just, lo or this person just loses it. And before you clowns want to keep coming for me and how I'm taking care of my animals, I think you really need to do a little research of your own so that you actually know what you're talking about because now you guys just all look silly. So if I ever call you guys clowns, I mean, I apologize. I don't think I will, but you know, I... <laughs> Here I am wearing my funny bucket hat here on the video and I don't really, it doesn't bother me. So again, say what you want, love it, bring the fire, bring the smoke. So I have raised one beta fish in my lifetime and it passed away, unfortunately, when I was 12 years old. So that was the last time I had a beta fish. That was a long time ago. But uh, if people saw my fish bowl at that time, I would not be, I would have been crucified by the community. So, you know, but I blame nobody, but anyways. Carry on. Move along here. Nothing to see. Now, this is the best response here. I love the energy. And uh, this person really put me in my place because I felt it felt deep to my core. And putting one beta fish in a nine gallon bowl is overkill. OK, they don't need anywhere near that much space, but I chose to spoil mine. So that's what he's got. So he's living in that bowl better than you're probably living in your house. And First of all, again, I don't look silly. I got my nice hat on. But that being said, you're right. Your fish is probably better, living better than I am in my house because that thing's got more ice in there than my hockey rink in the backyard. So anyways, that's a whole nother thing. But again, I love it. Love the energy. People on the internet are the best. We're the best place in the world. So this guy here, you know, this poor fish keeper, must have been new to the hobby, got duped out by the old pet co, the old pet smart switcheroni. I would hate to get sold a betta fish for it to turn out looking something like this. The poor beta fish. He's so big. But uh, for real, guys, forcible confinement. You cannot keep a goldfish in a tiny thing like that. That poor guy's bloated as sin. And, uh, you know, at least he's got a light on, but that is brutal. Make sure you get your guys, you know, big enough fish tanks. Come on, guys. We know this. This is week four. Let's go. Beta fish take the brunt of the damage in the fish community, fish keeping hobby. And uh, again, we just got to create awareness and make sure we save these poor guys. This poor person, uh, you know, post their video asking for help. So there's nothing wrong on the fish keeper part here. But, uh, you know, the comments, are, again, is what it comments make gold here. Oh, honey. Oh, my God. So, like, just just the sad music. And obviously, this fish is suffering, uh, you know, severe discomfort. It has a, definitely a parasite uh, living inside them, which is causing them to do the spinning around. Um, but the comments are just like, people are like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a carousel and the sad, it's just like, holy geez, you know? So this poor person reaching for help. Again, you can always go to your local fish store, do some research, lots of great websites out there that provide, uh, ample, uh, information regarding parasites and, uh, symptoms and diagnoses and how you would treat it. So again, tons of information online, make sure you check it out. But a uh, poor beta fish, I mean, it might be too late. looks like it's been fully attacked by this parasite and might have to be euthanized to end the suffering. But, you know, again, you can always try and uh, quarantine that bad boy, put some uh, anti-parasitic stuff in there and try and flush that out. So that's a tough one. You know, we hate to see this with our fish, but unfortunately it does happen and it is part of growing, uh, you know, with our experience. So, and that being said, I wanna do a, just a community highlight here. Um, one of the inspirations for me on getting into the hobby, Ohio Fish Rescue, 
Um, you know, we all have our tanks, we all love fish and we always sometimes get a little bit eager on the fish that we do want to kind of buy. And again, PetSmart and Walmart, Petco, they're all big uh, problems in this fish community is that they're selling fish that are inappropriate for people, for beginners or their setups that they have. Uh, so things like Oscars and, you know, many exotic fish, they get huge and they're really unable to be controlled by people in their houses. And these guys, Ohio Fish Rescue on YouTube, TikTok, uh, you know, they're a big inspiration for me to getting into this, uh, the YouTube channel and they do great work. They're saving everyone's babies and giving all these fish great lives to the best of their abilities. So just a huge shout out to them. I uh, love your guys' stuff. Making a great example for the community on, on proper fish care. So thumbs up to these guys. So anyways, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to join the Aquarium Police Force, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Shout out to my number one cadet, first cadet, day one guy. Ikinox, uh, love it. Uh, love your saltwater aquarium, and hopefully you save that beta fish. We can pump them up into a new, uh, into a new, uh, maybe a five gallon or more. So keep up the good work, buddy.